Principal Brad Basham is leaving RHS for a district position. Why this is and how the transition will affect RHS. The 20% project is now being implemented by RHS teachers. What it is and how it will help students fulfill Common Core standards. One RHS senior is pursuing her career path by working as an intern to the school nurse as part of her new ROP course. Who she is and how the new class is preparing her for a medical profession. From Eye of the Tiger, this is TigerCast News. Broadcasting from Studio 403 at Roseville High School. Good morning and welcome to an all new TigerCast News. I'm Jacob Darby. And I'm Jake Evans. We begin today's TigerCast with breaking news. Roseville High School Principal Brad Basham announcing he will leave RHS for a position at the district after leading Roseville for eight years. The announcement came last week at a special faculty meeting after school on Wednesday. Basham will remain principal for the rest of the school year, and Daniel Wetter joins us now with how teachers are uncertain about what next year holds for Roseville. Daniel? Yeah, Jacob. The big unknown here is who will replace Basham as the principal for next year, and as we found out, teachers are far from certain about what this means for Roseville High School. The principal is leaving. I think it's, it's nice to have Roseville represented in the district office. So I'm happy for him in that respect, but I'm sad that we're going to lose him as a principal of our school. Principal Brad Basham has been at the helm of Roseville High School for nearly eight years. But on Wednesday, he announced to staff that he will be leaving for a position at the district. In a statement, Principal Basham said, quote, The most difficult part is leaving something that is something that you know, something that you're comfortable with, something that you feel you're pretty good at, and leaving a community that has embraced and supported you for many years, end quote. Teachers say they aren't surprised. Oh, honestly, I had, uh, through the grapevine, um, heard some rumors about that, so my reaction was, I guess, I, I knew already. And now that Basham is on his way out, a new principal will be on their way in. The Roseville Joint Union High School District will begin a comprehensive search for the new leader both within the district and out. And some say the district has a track record of choosing good principals. The district principals have stayed in their positions for a while. It's not like there's huge changeover every year at the schools. So that implies stability. But until then, many teachers remain uncertain about the future. But you never know what you're going to have, right? And that's why it's that fear of the unknown. And the vision of the school will change with a new principal at the helm. Basham will remain principal for the rest of the school year, finishing out his eighth year of leading Roseville and leaving a legacy many will remember. I think he actually really did help make it more student-centered and trying to improve and provide programs, even if like PAUSE didn't necessarily succeed, at least he was trying something that would help the students, and his whole time his vision really has been on helping the students. Basham will be joining the district as Director of Personnel Services. Jake? And this is actually happening over at Granite Bay High School too, correct? Yeah, Granite Bay's Principal Mike McGuire announced in January that he would be leaving Granite Bay retiring, and just last week uh, the district announced that Jennifer Layton from Antelope High School would be taking over for Mike McGuire next year and there's actually a good list of candidates that the district has now from that search and they'll carry that over to Roseville High School so they'll have a lot more candidates to choose from. Jake. Thank you Daniel. We're going to continue following this breaking story. Next week we'll have an in-depth look into Basham's time here at Roseville and we'll talk to him personally about his new job. Now we turn to last week's wild weather. You can see behind us that the weather has calmed down a bit. It's still a little cloudy, but it's nothing compared to Wednesday. A tornado touched down in West Roseville in a neighborhood off of Finnement Road. The National Weather Service released a map showing the path of the tornado. With winds upward of 85 miles per hour, the tornado damaged 12 houses, scattering some of the windows and blowing down fences. While nobody was injured, the rare weather shocked many RHS students. The storm went over right, right over my court and all the clouds were like spinning in circle big and dark and then when it like came down it like, took my neighbor's fence off and kind of like went across the street it's a developing story creating freshman pathway teachers are implementing what they call the 20 percent project it is designed to help students reach their potential by giving them the freedom to choose what they want to do for a project tyler roberts has the story a new project has come to roseville high school and it takes up 20% of the work week. I like how they're focusing on one day and that we still learn other things throughout the week, but we get that one day to do our project. 
RHS English teacher Debbie Seidler found out about the project by reading a book by Daniel Pink called Drive. She thought it would be a valuable experience for students. Breaking down those classroom walls and helping them to be global citizens, doing projects in the community. And so I look forward to seeing what Roseville's freshmen will do this year as well. This project is like nothing the students have ever done. It allows them to have freedom of choice and encourages them to help the community. I do like the project, I really do. I am making a doghouse for my dog. I am making all the floor plans by myself, all from scratch. Uh, and if it goes well, all goes well, then I'll be able to go around the community and ask if uh, anybody else needs a doghouse, and then I'll build one for them. A hospital or something and taking like kids with like disabilities or cancer or something and trying to teach them like giving them a one day class on how to draw. The big question remains, why are the teachers implementing this now instead of earlier in time? The answer, Common Core. I believe the project helps students reach the Common Core state standards because Common Core asks us to look at experiences of depth and to research uh, research problems, research, speculate as to multiple solutions to problems, which this project will enable students to do based on a, a product that they're interested in. The students have started the 20% project and will present in the J.B. Gale Theater at the end of the school year. Science teacher Alex Uribe is moving to San Francisco where his fiance works and will be taking on a new teaching job. This means C.J. Addington will be taking over the AP Environmental Science class next year, and Mike Pervines will be taking over for Addington's AP Physics class. Oh, I'm sad to leave. I, I, I realized it around September that that was what was going to have to happen, um, but I'm sad about it. I love Roseville. I, I'm going to really miss living here. I'm from here. I went to Roseville High School. Uh, you know, I live here now, my family's from here, and so it's, it's going to be a big change. She's a, she's a nurse, but she's only a senior in high school. Next, see how Brianna Cookson is getting her career started early, right after this message. When you don't watch the Tiger Cast, you don't receive an important message about train safety. When you don't receive important messages about train safety, you don't cross tracks at designated crossings. When you don't cross tracks at designated crossings, you start blasting hip-hop music. You better check yourself or you wreck yourself cause I'm bad for your health. When you start blasting hip-hop music, you can't hear a train coming up from behind you. When you can't hear a train coming up from behind you, you get ran over. When you get ran over, well, you know. Watch the Tiger Cast. Don't get ran over. ROP courses are a great way for students to pursue their career goals while in high school. While the nursing class has been offered through other nearby schools, it's making its debut at RHS. Senior Brianne Cookson is serving as the nurse's intern for the new nursing program. Jeremy Frisch has the story. Roosevelt High School senior Brianne Cookson is getting an early start on her career. Thanks to the ROP nursing program, she currently serves as an assistant for RHS nurse Dale Edgerton. I had to apply for it through Miss Moses. I had to fill out an application and then turn it into her and then go to a meeting to sign up. She sees the ROP program as a great step towards her plans to pursue a medical career working with premature babies. The role as an ROP assistant nurse includes taking temperatures, bandaging patients, and dealing with medical paperwork. I absolutely love it. I think that it's such a great experience that everyone should be able to enjoy it because it's totally beneficial. When she graduates, Cookson hopes to further her career in the medical field by going into the nursing program at the University of Nevada, Reno. In April, the RHS Band and Drama Club are joining forces to host the It's Shakespeare World musical in the Patty Baker Theater. Drama teacher Stuart Smith is overseeing the production, and showtimes will be announced soon. And now we'll toss it on over to Dominic Kalala for sports. Thanks, Jake. Despite the elimination of star testing, the annual Senior Olympics tradition is living on with competitions taking place tomorrow. This year's games will be during second period while juniors are testing. Teams of five boys and five girls were created last week, with many seniors opting to sit out and watch their classmates compete in the competitive games. I think our team for the most part will actually have a chance like in winning, and I think we'll, we'll be really competitive, and we have a lot of different like personalities on our team, which I think that gives us a good like push to winning. I think the competition will be fun for the most part, and I like how it's not all like based on sports. It's also like dancing, and I think it's going to be singing, and I think it's going to be more fun and everything. Last week, the RHS staff competed in a basketball game against Wood Creek. For the steal. Ritter, trying to get that help side, and Ritter! 
Despite holding the Wood Creek staff to only 42 points during the faculty basketball game, the Tigers were only able to put up 36 in a close game. However, the game was a huge success for charity. Over $4,300 were raised for the Me One Cancer Zero charity. We'll send it back over to you, Jake. Next week on TigerCast News, we'll have more on Principal Basham's years here at Roseville. And look what's replacing the star test. For all the latest news, you can sign up for mobile text alerts or follow us on Twitter with our Twitter handle at EOT News. That's it for us today on TigerCast News. And remember, we're always on eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.